New York City has changed a lot since 1961, but our zoning laws haven't. 60 years ago, we set specific regulations about where certain types of businesses could operate. For example, our maps could tell you exactly where to open a typewriter repair shop, but if you work in any industry from the 21st century, they don't fit into the old rules. Growing businesses have limited places to expand, and that's why you see so many empty storefronts. If you want to play music in a bar, it's allowed in plenty of locations. But if you want to let people dance to the music, there's fewer options. Bummer. During COVID, thousands of people started working from home full time, but because of our outdated zoning rules, they can't run a small business from home. If you're an interior designer, you can design other people's homes, but it's illegal to do it from your home. What? Sorry. Businesses give up on opening or expanding because it's too complicated. The City of Yes for Economic Opportunity Plan will streamline the zoning rules so neighborhoods get a mix of businesses they can rely on and business owners can set up shop across the city. Main streets in every borough should have corner stores, interior design firms, and dentists. Thriving business corridors make neighborhoods feel alive and lift up every business on the block. Zoning is a tool to build the city we want. All New Yorkers want a mix of successful businesses close to home, so it's time to update our zoning laws to make it possible. The City of Yes for Economic Opportunity Plan will simplify outdated rules and open the door for a new generation of success.